This is a prestigious gathering. Teddy's and Roosevelt's a gathering of chrome, leather, noise, machines, exhaust, beer, probably some of the widest selection of vehicular and nostalgic pieces of chrome are going to fly in the entire Northwest gathers here once a month. This is a prestigious VME meeting. come for a general membership meeting. We see a lot of things go on here uh, that wouldn't go on anywhere else. They put up with us quite a bit. We've got some chrome pieces here from Britain, Italy, Russia, China, you name it. It's probably one of the uh, nostalgic pieces of Seattle that is really still under wraps. Most people around here really don't know what's going on until you come down here and take a look. Right. Oh, really? 
officer just position that we don't have filled yet so if there's somebody here tonight that you can you know think of that wants to sign up great or just kind of rack your brain and have them give me a call either that'd be great too so i guess that's it thanks for having me have been the uh, pr officer and i guess you get to see me in a new incarnation here pretty soon uh, you know our rank coordinator um, also, my job's still open. If anyone is gung ho about finding some real nice roads out there and leading the pack, uh, please step forward and, and come up and say, "Hey, I want to be the leader of the pack." So, uh, <laughs> so if any of you hear of any mysterious things, you know your friends are finding boxes with pistons in them in the middle of the road, please do not run over them. Please contact me. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Wow. Selling a uh, 73 Triumph, Bonneville 750. If anybody's interested, see me. What about the aerial? Oh, yeah. Last meeting, somebody was talking about an aerial square four basket case. If anybody knows who that gentleman was, let me know. Yeah. Well, this is my last official act, Troops. Um, and uh, when I, I'll say a few things, and Mark will close the meeting. But um, I just wanted to thank you for uh, the cooperation and uh, tell you it's been a lot, a lot of fun being the president for the last couple of years and uh, hope you'll uh, give the new officers the support you've given the past officers and uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I can spend most of my time out on the sidewalk in the future and I've, I've kind of missed that. So anyway, thank you very much and uh, you know, be real careful out there riding. Thanks.
Got a 51 Norton 500 single. It's Norton International, the overhead cam motor in it. Rare, worth a lot of money. Is it? Yeah, it's not running right now. Got this uh, 750 Dunstall Norton that I've had since uh, 68. It, uh, it's fast too. It quarter, quarter throttle, the loads down the road at 70, 75 miles an hour. All right. Got a 61 Norton ES2, a 500 single. It's got Dunstall stuff on it. Makes it look like a Manx. Does it have a counterbalancer in the motor? No. Feels like a jackhammer. Does it? Yeah. That's my 750 Dunstall. It's so fast. This here is a Excelsior Well Bike. It's a British folding paratrooper motorcycle. Did you find it? Yeah, he said you just bring it up here. Oh,
Eve, I'd like you to meet the members of the Cloverleaf Sickle Club. This is Eve Drake. Hi, Eve. Glad to have you with us, Eve. Eve has seen a few races, but this is her first real look at motorcycling as a recreation. Oh. Terrific. You can't beat it. Say, you're dressed like you know your way around. <laughs> Ride on a, on a motorcycle. What bike sure. it was? You do? Yeah. It was it was a Suzuki 175 over in the desert at Matawa for a desert race, where some guys talked me into going to uh, on a poker run. Was the first time you'd ever been on a motorcycle? <laughs> well, I uh, I tried ride. riding in a parking lot a couple of times, but this one, yeah, and uh, it was uh, that was really a bad bike, and I, you know, but I didn't know it. And uh, the guy said, it was like a snipe hunt. I said, well, what's a poker run? Is it like, do we go on this road? He said, yeah, no problem. 
just pay your five bucks, let's go. Next thing I know, I was going down a cliff <laughs> full of rocks, through shade, sagebrush. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. And then went on one lap 30 miles and came back. They said, okay, now try this motorcycle. And they put me on a real good one. I took off, it's like getting out of a Model T onto a Cadillac. And I did the second lap on that. But yeah, that was my first real motorcycle ride out in the desert. Yeah, Hunter first... Bushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Oh. The two-stroke history is long and sorted, actually. Um, the first motorcycles were two-strokes. Um, the first internal combustion engines were two-strokes. And uh, they were basically alcohol-burning two-stroke motors. And if they'd have stuck with that, we wouldn't be in an oil crisis right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, oh, this is great. I like this. I'll see you later. It's the end. the artifact. Those are plus. Yeah. Yeah. Up on the oh. yeah. I don't know. There really seem to be any frame rails hanging on this. I don't really know. Oh, there it'll be. Yeah, just talk to the Yeah, wait for them. Yeah. We got a meeting in 10 minutes. 10 minutes from the back. financially a good thing for the club. We ended up netting by the time everything said done about twenty three hundred dollars this year. So All right. it was
summer we did a survey at the Isle of Vashon, and the, probably the most important thing that we discovered from that survey is that three-fifths, at least three-fifths of the members of the VME can read and write, because we got three-fifths of the card check. <laughs> And uh, we, we, over the past year, have looked at the statistics and come up with some characteristics of the club. One, it's a socializing club, and it's a wrench-turning, restoring club. Uh, it's a collecting club, but for, first and foremost, it's a riding club. That came in number one. More, more people said that that was their primary interest than anything else. So given that, um, we uh, asked a few more questions and determined that amongst all those people who ride, there's a tremendous divergence of riding styles and habits. Some people like uh, like to take their wife on the back and maybe go up to the uh, the Tulip Festival, and other other people would like to leave the wife at home and follow your stop Dave off to <laughs> and everything in between. Some people uh, would go on a ride if you didn't stop at a tavern, and other people won't go on a ride if you do. So that's got us as ride coordinators here to thinking about how we can accommodate the, the pretty divergent interests of the club. And since we can't, we're canceling all the rides. <laughs> Stands up. What are you 
You were there, and then I saw you filming, and then I waved at you. you know? yeah. That's good because you don't really want people to know you're filming. That's good. I bought it in England, and it was in a real wreck. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, it was supposed to be in good shape, mm -hmm. but when I got it back over here, the guy really didn't tell me the truth, uh -huh. and it was a real mess. It then there was mess. rebuild the engine twice, yeah. rebuild, rebuild the engine the back twice, wheel twice, twice. Yeah, rebuild and uh, so in the end, it's from the beginning to the front to the stern. <laughs> This was one of their prettiest models. This is a CSR it's not, it's model. That model. Yeah. It's just yeah. 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 This is a 61. They built them in 50. Well, that's a smiley face. Eight was the first one. 58, 59, 60, 61. Then they started going and making them more horrible. Oh, I might have been even. It was very much worth yeah. yeah. I mean, at the time, you're throwing things at the wall. Yeah. 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 It was very much yeah. worth yeah. yeah. I mean, at the time, you're throwing things and you're doing a lot of swearing and cursing and everything else because it takes such a long time to get these things, you know. But now I've got it done, of course, I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> I didn't want to listen to that thing all week. Oh, the, the aluminum, uh, maybe you should scan this expensive repair here with genuine new old stock hose clamps and special aluminum sheets shipped from Germany, air freight. Very expensive. Oh, I recognize the uh, distinctive uh, NOS clamps there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. They're starting to reproduce them now, but uh, they're mm -hmm. not getting them right. Well, I have another one at all. <laughs> I know of two others. Really? There are three of you, huh? Well, yeah, there are. There are three guys Good. with NSUs in their basements. You aren't about to start the NSU Seattle NSU Owners Club, are you? No, but we have a Zundap Owners Group Good. for two of us, mainly so we could use the initial Zog. Zog. Furious, we lost. No, no. Saw them in a magazine and the company was having a closeout. I said, I'll take them. So do you get extra big pockets that way? They have huge pockets and nice deep back pockets so you don't lose your wallet. Good. You can tell a Valaset for a, you know, yeah. from a Norton. Well, and, and, and you can tell a Norton because it sounds like a tin can coming yeah. down the street. But, you know, you can tell each, each bike. They give you a variety of sounds, you know. <laughs> It wasn't the humdrum, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The humming of the killer bees, yeah. as we refer to it as nowadays. Yes, we, we want to zoom in on this uh, bicycle pump uh, attachment. Well, there it is. Highly unusual piece of uh, ex supplemental equipment. Yeah, a little bit uh, faulty mounting, but I'll get that squared away sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't go over those. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were, I was saying, oh, we need gas, we need gas. And he's got a... Have you been over that rap? Yeah. That's the standard fix for all British uh, tack drives. You stick a quarter in there, preferably a buffalo. 1964, nickel. though. <laughs> buffalo nickel. It should yeah. be a, it should be a 66 nickel because yeah, it's a 66 Yeah, I know. You got the wrong year. It looks like a lot of fun. They cut the Wait. CCs back. So I guess they started going too fast. Yeah. So what can you like a sidecar? Okay. You're missing all. No, it's, just, it's not bumpy at all. Hop in. Yeah. Those sidecars are a completely different ride. It's not a motorcycle, it's not a car anymore. <laughs> it's, it's not that bumpy actually. Steve Barrett's Maroon Indian Chief. Hello. I gotta get my soap on first. What is this? A tail hook? Huh? A tail hook? And something like that. <laughs> uh, to start off with, kind of to recap the most recent club event, we had a, a really great turnout on the pre-70s ride. The weather was beautiful. We had a bunch of old bikes, terrific riding. The pace was brisk. Uh, no, hey, well, <laughs> given the event, <laughs> and I zoomed up and never seen 85 before. It was pretty exciting. This would be um, a place that people could show off their bikes. We could do all sorts of things there. And it's not just limited to the VME. The VME is the ones that are- We need here. help. The event's bigger and bigger all the time. It's a quality place. Well, let's make it right. Um, I have a, a couple notes uh, from the officers' meeting I'd like to talk about. And I just thought that would be a good idea for Vashon. If you come to Vashon, bring a can of food, throw it in your saddlebag, we'll give it to the food bank along with the, along with the money. They'll appreciate that. Well, let's see. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right, uncoordinator. <laughs> 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 So come on out for the Mount Rainier ride, Northwest Trek ride. It's going to be a good ride, and if, and if we're really, really lucky, we'll take the Ohop Lake Road. It's a Messerschmitt three-wheeler. It's a 1955 Messerschmitt. It's parked out there. Go look at it. Ask him for the history. Bug the hell out of him. It is truly the most bizarre thing you'll have ever seen. I gotta see the measures. Yeah, Jeffy's out of here right now. Mention the words of Jeffy. He's on his way. Just, just a quickie here. Um, I've been working on starting a motorcycle shop for the last few months, and we finally have a place. The doors are open. It's down south of the Kingdom. You can get a hold of me later. Give me a call at the number. That's all I'll tell you for now. So if you guys want to hear more about it, give me a ring. Way to go, Mark!
much. like your first motorcycle ride? Whee! Did you really enjoy it? It's not as comfortable as riding in an automobile. Neither is a roller coaster, but it's a lot more fun. That's the idea. After all, you're only young once, and on a cycle, you really know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs>